I'm Pat Cunt, and this is a Let's Play of Fallout 3. As you can probably guess, it crashed again at the end of the last video, so I again had to play through um, independently. So hopefully it won't be too bad to... Uh, so what I'm asked to do at this point is to go out into space. Well, I'm not quite sure how to get there, but, oh, a Gatling laser. Do I already have one of these? Yeah, I do. Well, I can mix them together. What is this? Laser rifle. I think I can use those to repair the metal blaster. So I'm going to keep keep that as spare. Laser pistol is not quite so useful, but I don't need all of uh, 7 for 300. Can I drop 6 pounds somehow? When did I pick that up? Okay, can I drop 4 pounds somehow? I guess I'll drop that. And I'm gonna take a quick nap here. And... Whoa! Oh! That's weird. I thought I just saw Sally here. I think Sally's the little girl. Ooh! Never spotted these before. But a welcome surprise. Did you need something? Sure I do. Oh. Well, if she has a hidden access to loot, that is pretty sweet. Uh, Sally, I can't follow you. Oh, there you go. Here it is! This... Okay. Cool. And... Looks good. Uh, just a little bit more ammo for my... for me, but still, that's helpful. That's still inaccessible. Okay, and... Now, uh, how do we get to space again? Apparently I have to use the space suit. Although, first I'm going to show you the kind of hilarious... Hey, don't forget to put on the astronaut suit before starting the decompression sequence. I'll show you the hilariousness if you don't follow that advice. Yeah, apparently you just explode, which is, uh, which is just stupid, but then your body probably would be, okay, but we do have to put on this suit. Space suit is on. Okay, so there's no air here. I would expect probably us to fall a little bit faster without air because I think there's a little bit of air resistance. Oh yeah, you don't want to take off the suit while you're out here, but... Can't open that door. Not sure why, but... And off we go to space. OK, 
Okay, you can't pull your weapons out. You can s see down into the lower part of the spaceship. I'm not sure why it would make sense to have a spaceship divided into p two parts like this. Oh yeah, so you need to find and activate these three thingamajiggers. I think it might be a tribute to Star Trek The Next, Next Generation where you have to... Uh, where there was a, a movie where they were fighting the Borg. Yeah, aliens running around down there. Yeah, there was a movie where they were fighting the Borg and they were... They needed to decouple the deflector dish or something. And they did it by pr pressing on three, uh... Three interlocks while wearing spacesuits and doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's kind of silly, but fun. Okay. And that... That activates this beam you up thingy. Well, not beam you up, but pull you up. Okay. So, sp spacewalk is over. And now it's time to repressurize the room. We would like to find a place to hide, just so that... Okay. And I think... Now it's time to go invisible. I'm over encumbered. I don't think I... How did I pick up two pounds while I was out there? Stealth armor, officer hat, shady hat. I don't remember picking up a plasma pistol. Oh well. I don't need it. The aliens really don't mind Sally. She can run right up to them and... Take this! Ah! And I'll let those guys have their fun. Okay. So, what are we doing? I sure hope they don't figure out where we are. This time I don't think they're going to put me back in the cell. You guys, did you do it okay? Hope you did. Yeah, given how many of them we killed, it would not make sense for, for them to return us to a cell. Okay, I don't see any aliens here. This looks reasonably safe. Whoa. What a view. So pretty, isn't it? Wait, this is the upper half of the spaceship? What kind of weird geometry is this? Unless the spaceship flipped upside, uh, flipped upside down while we were waiting. Okay, so what are we gonna do? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? This is crazy. I've never seen this part of the ship before. We need to make them pay every last one. Okay, so the door. Uh, you want to take care of the door, Sally? Can you take care of the door? Allie. Sally? Or is this how we do it? Is there a switch we have to push somewhere? Uh, maybe there's something in here that needs to be adjusted. Or maybe the game is glitched.
Let's see what's going on down here. Uh, teddy bear. Uh, I guess what's her name is still probably off in the robot assembly area. Is the space zone? Don't really need to go in there. Howdy. Oh, hey, you're here. Pretty odd. Means we're getting under there. Of course, now it looks like we've got a big death ray. But it's not. Oh, wait, what happened? Did they fire. Oh, they fired the death ray at the ground. Nice. Well, let's get ready for fun and save the game. And. Oh no! You're going to have to find the other. I think so. Okay. Oh, there is a door. Good. Weapons lab. Well, that sounds fun. Hmm. Okay, well, that is not operational. This is also not operational, probably. Well, I do see... No, I guess they must be upstairs. into here. If you guys want to come and get me, then come and get me. But I am gonna be... I would like to have a clear shot at you if you're gonna have a clear shot at me. And I'm gonna save first. Okay. We're down to the caution level. I think that's good enough. There's, I think there's another, uh, another one of those turrets nearby. At least it sounds like there is. Are you a worker? You might be a worker. Get up next to you and try the pickpocket. Oh, oh. For some reason, they don't approve of my plan to pick them off. Oh, it's one of those things. Ouch. Yeah. I'm suffering here. Okay, I'm still in danger. And those guys are still firing nasties at me. Now I'm down to caution. That should do. Oh, I thought I blew you up. I really thought I blew you up. Well, I guess I didn't. Okay, well, that takes care of you. Unfortunately, I've suffered decent damage during all of this. So, I... okay. Ouvrier le porte. Okay, so I could use the control thingy to, uh, activate this thing. Buttercup toy? What was that? I seem to have picked up something called a buttercup toy. Oh, it's one of these horse things. Well, they're kind of cool. Actually, I think I'll just bring it with me because I don't know of anywhere else in the game where I can get one of these. Um, 
for it. Oh crap. An atomizer. Okay. Oh, well didn't mean to do that, but it seems like I did. Oh, atomic pulverizer. I don't think I had one of those before. Is that the better version of the atomizer? I think it is. And maybe that is enough. Yeah, that gets me a fully repaired pulverizer. Atomizers do 35 damage, pulverizers do 37. Not very different, really. I think the Guardian drone is going to have some fun. Or at least it might. Seems like it really wants to go through that door, though. And the door is closed very thoroughly. Okay, we have a passage that way. And a blocked off passage that way. And nothing interesting behind there, so let's go ahead. We're gonna move up close until we can hit him with multiple lasers. There we go. And, and save the game. I'm getting a little bit paranoid, but I'm really tired of how much the game has been crashing recently because I don't really like playing back through areas that I just played. I know that there's a setting where you can have it save every few minutes or save whenever you enter a new area, but I've been warned by other people who record Let's Plays that that setting greatly reduces stability. Oh yeah, so for this, I'm going to do it the fun way. And drop some mines. Multiple mines. Okay. That should do. And now, let's see if I can... See if I can take care of... It's, the gauntlet has been thrown. See how much that guy is willing to follow me. Maybe not. He's not not willing to follow me? That's no fun. Still not willing to follow me. Well, let's And now he's willing to follow me. Maybe? Oh! Oh, no. He's going to fight that thing down there first. Stubborn critter. And surprisingly hard to injure. I think that's the nature of... You willing to, to chase me, dude? Maybe? Yes? Are you kind of contractually obligation, uh, obli obligated to just stand there? Come on. Well, I guess I'm not going to do much with Fragmines and him. It's a bit of a disappointment, really. 
Actually, can I creep up on them and, and hand them a frag grenade? I might. I do need to wait until they're no longer in ca uh, no longer cautious, but I think pickpocketing explosives into somebody's pocket is an instant kill. Okay. No. No, I'm not allowed to pickpocket them. Not sure why. Oh well. What weapons do I have? Pulverizer, electrosuppressor. Oh, I don't have the uh, what you call it that can knock enemies down. I don't think. Um. Guess I'll give the drone cannon a try. Now are you willing to move? Now it seems like you're willing to move. If you are, then I will leave you fragmined. Yeah, you're finally moving. No, no, you're back to standing still. Man. That is kind of irritating. You are very devoted to s standing still in that particular spot. I guess that control must be pretty important. Damage your leg at least. Pretty badly damaged your leg, it seems. This might be terrible AI. It took all that before you were... Well, you do have pretty amazing shielding, I'll give you that, but... Maybe your instructions were not to abandon your post at any cost or something like that. What did that do? Well, I don't know. Oh, you're the friendly drone. Uh-oh. 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 run away. And don't fire things in a way that might hurt me, please. Okay, you have successfully destroyed the robot. Repair my drone cannon at least. 
Yeah, every time you fire your weapon, it does a little bit of damage to it, which is fine, but... Oh, I did not want to pick up the stupid shock baton. I've been in here. Not sure if I've been in there. Oh, right. There is nothing in there. Okay. There are aliens up there with the cloaking shields thing. Gotta be careful in how I take them out. I mean, there is the option of not taking him out, but I kind of like the experience that I get from uh, getting these guys. Okay, so we're going to drop a frag mine. I think. Not sure. Oh, did you decide not to come down the stairs? I'll curse you. Okay. Oh, you're not going to come all the way over here. Oh, well, those are all my mind. But apparently, yeah, these things really are quite good at... Uh, quite good at uh, avoiding... Uh, At least it being unexpected. Okay, let's see if we can just turn this dude off. Yep, you're not needed. Take a nap. looking chest here. Biogel, disintegrator, Let's see, a door and a thing. Oh, that beams up a cow. Oh! Well, that's no fun. Don't kill cows. What does this do? Oh, apparently something in there is set to destroy cows. Unfortunately for it, I'm set to destroy things that destroy cows. Oh, a nicer version of the drone cannon. It does less damage. 140 to 105. Well, let's see what that is. Let's sit full. Except now they're... Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. I'll have to keep one of each drone cannon. Only one of them has that. Oh, yeah, there is. Now it shows 140 and 105, but... I only see 105 here. I don't quite understand what's going on. 
Oh, that that bombin has suffered something really weird. I think it has suffered a software glitch. Probably been infected by a software glitch is the right way to say that. Okay, what do you do? Ah, you have another one of those hilarious logs. do want to get as much in the way of uh, power for your stuff as you can while you're here because you're going to find it pretty tough. Oh, another Gatling laser. Is my Gatling laser completely repaired? No, it's not. Well, now it is. Disintegrator. Atomizer. Yeah. Whoops. something down here that say it could be repaired. Oh, the metal blaster. Ah, oh, 21 pounds over. Man. I have the drone cannon. I have the drone cannon. This one be pulverizer. Guess I'll just keep one of each weapon. could drop the Gatling laser, but it's a pretty nice thing to have around. How can I drop 14 pounds? Uh, I can get another one of these d down below. Okay, seven pounds to go. Problem is that most of these things don't weigh anything. Seven pounds. Oh no, can't. Food sanitizer would be daft to drop. Yeah, pooey. Have to make some tough choices. Well, assault rifle. Not that hard to get another one of those if I want to. Plasma rifle and metal armor, that's easy to replace. Oh, well, pooey. Haha, -ha, I will steal your snacks. That'll show you. Okay, it's really that guy that I'm worried about because he is hard to kill. Oh, but I can slip him a, a frag grenade, I think. Probably. Here, catch. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Sorry, dude, but you are participating in things that are fucking up my species, and I don't care if I lose karma. It would be daft to let you live. Interesting. In your ship, stealing your foods. Whoa. Oop. Yeah, stuff it, game. I don't care how rosy and nice you guys are. As individuals, you still are part of a group that is fucking up my species. Hmm. That's an interesting 
let's leave that closed for now. Sorry, dude. Unless you're actually gonna stop these guys from, uh... Whoa. Oh, my. Oh, I was probably here before. Okay. Weapons. Frag grenade. These are probably the things that were experimenting with me. Unfortunately for them, I do hold a grudge. Okay, is there anything else to do in here? Oh, well, let's see. Another log. Captain's log. We have captured some humans today and fucked them up. This is just a... well, can get a little bit more biogel. Whatever that good it does me. Oh, are those toilet plungers? Neat. Futuristic toilet plungers. More of those crystally looking things. Not a good sound. Oh, it looks like he was crawling trying to make it to the Healy thing. Without a lot of without quite enough success to survive. Whoop, what did I just pick up? Um I just picked something up that had its uh some weight to me. Damn it. Laser pistol, which I don't really need. It's worth a lot, though. Oh, might have been this. Yeah, definitely don't need that. Okay. Okay, and... I'm already at full health, so I'm not going to bother with that for now. And what is in here? Uh, that looks like another one of these generator thingamajiggers. Okay, epoxy. Another log. Aliens and weird aliens stuck behind thingamit thingies. No cooling for you. Okay, we're gonna go find some cover. I can see it. Okay. And that turned off the force fields. And the weird aliens are killing the aliens. Nice. Well, works for me. is the path to the weird alien, and this is another door. You go to biological research. Okay. I will probably be heading that way later. But first, I'm going to take a quick look around here. Okay. Uh, not 
sure how to interface with you. Or even if I can interface with you. Can I? Apparently not. Okay. Now these things are called abominations. Okay. And there are logs. Okay. Works for me. A more containers for the creepy dudes. Well, let's actually see. Okay, creepy dudes are capable of taking decent damage. And surviving, and... Save again, just in case. Okay. Hmm. Well, nothing else interesting here. Keep moving. particularly threatening. There are some aliens up there. Oh, something sees me. Not sure what sees me, but something sees me. Oh, it's one of the creepy dudes. Saw me for just a second, and then it lost interest. Which is good. Oh, the creepy dudes are wiping out the uh, aliens. And I am wiping out the creepy dudes. Human flesh. Oh, don't tell me the creepy dudes are human. Well, that does seem kind of unlikely. Yeah, the aliens appear not to be super plentiful around here. Uh. Oh, looks like the creepy dudes can teleport a little bit. It's not good. Generally, my strategies depend on my foes not being able to teleport right up to me. Fortunately, I'm still quite stealthy thanks to this uh, stealth suit. And still, this won't hurt a bit. Or at least it'll be over quickly. Looks like there are two aliens there that have an idea that I am on my way. Yep, don't need that. Don't see anything else that I want to pick up or interact with. Dudes, sorry, but... Again, you are aiding a civilization that is wiping out mine. It is not the way it should work. Oh, well, looks like I can close the door behind me. Not sure what utility that is. Okay. 
downstairs area and an upstairs upstairs area. I guess that touches on another interesting ethical issue in that dealing with, with non-combatants is, uh, is an area where I think it's often a lot more complicated than we would like it to be. I suspect that dealing with non-combatants on a military base should be considered very differently from dealing with non-combatants in general. Oh, I can summon my buddies. How about the medic dude? Is he coming? Can I summon the samurai? No. Okay, that's Death Ray Hub Observation Deck. Okay, well the area is secure. Let's You're take... You're really good. Pretty good. At... Well... It looks like there, but there's one you should probably go through first. Okay. And whoop! Oh, don't don't mean to pickpocket. Aliens. Okay, some biochel. Well, hey there. Okay. Oh, can you fix my if stuff? I get out of here. No. Nope. Yes, you can. Good. We need to make them pay. Every last one. Okay. Down we go. Save the game. Weapon out. In we go. Death Ray Hub. So, two foes nearby. One northwest, one northeast. Are both of these guys workers? They might be. Well, oh, sorry dude. By which I mean I'm not sorry at all. Yeah, my my feeling is that if you are on what amounts to a military base and you're dealing with people who are actively involved in what the military base is doing, then you probably would want to wipe out your foes. Because the costs of not doing so are just way too high. You, you're... Ethics should never be a suicide pact, and you're always going to be balancing the interests of security versus those of, uh, of general desire for the well-being of, uh, for the well-being of humanity. But in this case, I think the right balance has to do with both guilt in terms of, uh, picked up a shock baton. Well, actually, can that fix the electrosuppressor? No, it can't. But yeah, there's the, there is a certain amount of guilt involved in actively supporting a military base, and there's a certain amount of danger in not doing so because the failure to wipe out people in th these kinds of situations puts one in a very active level of risk. Oh, well, you did not last very long, dude. And that wouldn't, by working at, presumably, it has to factor in whether you think it's likely that the person would take action against you, even not directly violent, but dangerous action against you.
If they would, then it would not be appropriate to, uh, to spare them. Although there might be some non-violent ways in that if you're about to escape from somewhere, and it wasn't likely that your side were to, uh, were to be subject to capture, then you might have a little bit more leeway to, uh, to act in a way that's friendly to all of humanity, but point, to, point isn't to get a hard answer. Ethical questions sometimes have hard answers, but often it involves soft answers, judgments, complications like that. Ooh, that's kind of neat looking. Now in this case, because the aliens are orbiting my planet, and they're already acting in ways acting in uh, hostile ways. I think it's completely justified to wipe out the civilians because of their location and because we can reasonably assume that they are part participating in the doing nasty things to humans. Probably lower that force field, I, I'm gonna guess. Let's first see what's over here. Probably just the other side. Yep, nothing interesting. Okay, force fields are down. What is back here? Back here is. force fuels back on. Oh, oh, can I not turn it back off? Well, shit. That's no good. So I've trapped myself here. Okay, left is nothing. Right is... I got myself a, a new gaming machine a few months ago, and I'm very happy with how much better this is performing, and that in the background I'm actually still encoding the last episode, and it doesn't seem to be slowing things down at all. Of course, I imagine... Oh, bugger. Picked up another shot baton. I imagine Fallout is, uh, this game is old enough that it's probably single-threaded. Okay, let's overclock this thing and use it to get a full heal. Yeah, whatever. Bite me. I think the game is old enough to probably be single-threaded, and the new gaming c uh, c uh, computer I have here does have multiple processors, so it is probably... simply not using the same resources. Apart from disk, of course, but... You, oh, oh. Oh, looks like this weapon really is pretty good at, uh, at hitting the same same place, even with... Okay, looking good. Is there anything down here? Uh, that's not that important. Um, B 
better critical seems pretty tempting. Better criticals or maybe uh, demolition expert. Let's go with demolition expert. Okay, uh, I don't know what's back there. Oh, well this looks like somewhere where enemies will come from. So I'm gonna be a little bit forethinking and leave these guys a plasma mine. Anybody who comes through that door, you have a little gift from me. Metal blaster. Whoa, that did not take long. But I don't see... Oh, picked up a shock baton. Damn it. I don't want these. Looking good. What is this? to do some douchey things there. Like actually using the death ray on bits of earth. Okay. Minus one. We need to do this a few more times. It will detect that that thing is busted and we'll get another one. Oh yeah, let's just drop another one here just for security. We can, uh... We can pick that up if we don't use it. That is one of the nice things about mines in this game. It's the easiest thing in the world just to uh, grab them back if you don't, uh, if nobody uses them. Okay, you can blow up. Would you like to blow up? I think you would like to blow up. Oh, except there's a teleporter over here. I probably should be sticking mines there. Oh. sure why you're running over here, but let's give you a little gift. Okay. Oof. Scheiße. They, they only know vaguely where I am, but vaguely is good enough. But, oh, okay, they still only know vaguely where I am. So I'll leave a few more frag mines and we can play a little bit of cat and mouse here. Okay, 
they're still running around trying to find me. And now they're running off. Good. Because this is a bit of a corner and there's not a lot I can do. Okay. Where are you? I did kind of fuck that, that up. And I thought they were going to come through by the store, but I had forgotten that there was a teleporter over there. Okay, well, let's do this again. And we're going to give this guy a gift. Maybe not. Well, let's do it this way. Where are you going, dude? Yes, you're probably trying to figure out a way to avoid these things blowing up. that these things don't suffer too much from being upside down. Okay, you're gonna get your gun out. I'm gonna get my gun out. We're gonna have a showdown. Which just might result in you walking into a mine while you're trying to figure out where I am. Oh, except you're going the other way this time. Okay, works for me. This time I'm definitely going to drop the mines in the right place. And I'm going to drop the fun mines, the plasma mines. Mwahahaha. I'll maybe leave a few more frag mines over here. Probably would not be... I would probably prefer to stand further away in real life, but... Okay. And away we go. Uh, the fun thing about killing with mines and pickpocketing, pickpocketing grenades and stuff is that it feels a lot more clever than... Uh, Oh, do I have to do this again? I guess I have to do this again. Well, let's... Then let's leave that. One, two, and three. And that's the sun. Huh, interesting. like nobody else is going to beam in and try and deal with the situation so I can retrieve my mind. And keep moving. And there are some hostiles northeast of me. And 
my enemies are fighting each other, which is always a nice thing to find. Not really what this what this weapon is meant for. Switch back to a metal, metal blaster. So much ammo. At least for now. Yeah, th the weapons unfortunately become much less useful later on in the game because you don't have any reliable source of uh, of the... Oh, two of these things. Wow. Oh. Ah. Hey, you don't have any reliable source of the alien power cells later on in the game, so... Okay, I'm still marked as in danger. Caution. Okay, well that works. Now, actually we're going to pull our re reservist rifle right out, because this is more the situation that this is meant for. Okay, let's get down. Field thingamajigger. Hmm. I was wondering if it can actually manage to support me standing on it. Apparently, I was under the impression, based on the way that that one failed before, that it might fail just because it has to support somebody's weight. But I guess not. On the other hand, you can kind of walk around it by walking on it, which is goofy. We have lots of different areas we could go. Let's see. Let's save again, just in case. And what is in here? These appear to be stasis chambers. Wow. I guess that would kind of make sense, given that they have some seriously old dudes here. Like that cowboy guy. He presumably was not one of these for, for quite some time, I would guess. Or maybe he was just uh, frozen. i to take a look at these side chambers before moving forward. Let's see. I'm reading bagel when I see biochell. Alien bagel. Okay, and we haven't checked downstairs yet. I suppose it would be terribly daft to just climb in one of those and turn it on. The aliens would be like, why would you give yourself as a gift to us? Okay, yep, those things are empty. I wonder if any of these side chambers have anything interesting in them. Uh, not seeing anything so far. Well, let's try chamber number four. Nope, and nope. Okay. Well, then... Oh, well, this is kind of useful. How did I miss this? Heal me up. Okay, and... 
That's where I came from. That's the side chamber that I've already looked at. I don't think I've gone this way yet. So, let's see. I'm imagining these probably go to the same place. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they do. Okay, and... You can realign your sensors and turn you on and see what you do. You'll go and get killed. Well... Oh well. Wow, completely fucked that up. I'm guessing that the aliens have some of them that are devoted to security, and some of them are there are more or less scientists, but stay armed anyhow. Wait, I saw something light up. Wait, it just lit up again. What is it? Turret. Oh, there's a turret. Okay, can turn the turret off. More logs. Okay. Oh, I think I see another turret. Two more turrets. I'm glad I took that perk that lets me uh, mess with robotics. Okay, so there's a door and aliens behind it, and then there's another door here. Oh, another turret. I didn't need to do that. Okay, minus one alien. Minus two aliens. One bat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two bats. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Turret is offline. You guys are looted. Okay. Don't need your weapons. Would like your power. are doing some pretty good damage to me. I wonder if I can shoot these out of, out of their arms. It might make sense to try and do that. Maybe I can just destroy their weapon. Yeah, I really just should sneak up on these guys and... and reverse pickpocket grenades. It doesn't make sense to fight them, uh... with weapons. Okay, well, anyhow. Did I loot this? Yes, I did. Okay, well, you can go on and do your thing, but be anti-alien. That would suit me fine. Upgrade me.
Ooh, that sounds like the creepy things. Okay, that is... We don't need you. And we don't need you. So you can turn yourselves off. Oh. Don't need you. I just can't find that those things had cigarettes on them. Although I don't think it's meant quite as much as the kind of social commentary that the uh, nasty critters from uh, Left for Dead with the gigantic tongues were. are things that I can pick up that don't take weight. Okay, biogel and crystals. Then obviously we're gonna scoot forward over there. Okay, I'm still at full health. This looks like a teleporter. on the bridge. Cool. So, which is there? There's the bridge. This is something else. Oh, that probably turns on. Yeah, okay. We'll leave that alone. Whoa! Is that? That would take me home. Well, we're gonna save, and we're gonna... Uh, what did that do? I don't know what that did. Well, we'll close the door, and back around the corner, and let them come to me one by one. Are you? You are. Are you the alien captain? Yep. And now you're dead. <laughs> captain sidearm. So that's another unique weapon, I believe. And there is an unhappy-looking alien dude there. Hello. Oh, my buddies are here. Holy shit, where did that come from? Okay, there's another ship coming. So this is wow. a kind this of looks tricky just like bit. the bridge on Captain Cosmos. I Soma you go stand over there. Mr. Elliot, you're there. Olsen, you can be Tango's the Moon Monkey. And I get to aim the death ray. I am no goddamn space monkey. I've got a lock. 
on their ship. Fire when ready. For some, it looks like it's working. Keep up whatever you're doing. How? Are we ready? I'm not really sure how this thing Another one of those things. Nice work, kid. If there's more of and it looks like you're Okay, well you can fix up my shoes in it. That's right. If it you owe me I'm gonna see about getting off this thing. Odds are we won't be Yeah, that's Okay, well I guess that's the uh No real need to shoot anymore, but... We did it! We real. You're the best. So what now? Apparently you don't have more to say. Save just in case the game is about to crash.
Oh, yeah. Nice work, kid. It, and it looks like... Okay. So, can I... Really? You can't talk anymore? Okay. Uh... So, I'm not much for talking. So, I'll... Now, if you'll... Okay. And what about you? Okay. Hey, I thought you should know someone must... If I understood the display correctly, I wouldn't mention it, except that I think... Seems like there's a tell... So I, I guess you can go home. Yeah, we... You're... I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. I don't think... I'll tell you what. Okay, so... Sh some people are staying up on the ship. Some people are heading down. I didn't really get to see down here yet. All sorts of weird stuff. Okay, that looks good. Hope that thing won't come crashing down to earth at some point. I don't even want to know what it's like down there. I see you're still in one piece. Oh, come on. I don't know. I think I'll stick... Boy, I sure hope not. But... Well, okay. I guess... At some point that dude is probably going to want to learn... Probably gonna wanna wanna learn English. Just because Well, I mean I guess he could try and figure out how to get beamed down to Japan, but it's slightly pretty different. Okay, so back down to the wasteland I go. And I can get beamed back up anytime I want. Spaceship here is gone. Oh, there's a hostile somewhere up ahead. But otherwise, I am probably pretty near the point where I should be breaking... Oh, death loss. Nice. Oh, well. One hit kill to a death law. I am not going to complain about that. Although it was a surprise hit. It probably would have taken a few hits if I had missed or something, but... Yep, so we're going to head home. To Megaton. And refigure out our stuff. Welcome home, madam. Okay, so... Atomizer and the disintegrator we're going to put away. And the pulverizer. Just we'll keep this on us. No, let's put it away. And the two drone cannons, the electrosuppressor. Yeah, we can pull all the alien stuff away. So let's drop off the Gatling laser. We don't yet have the skill with big guns to really make much use of it. Okay, General Chase's overcoat is very cool, but... We're not going to wear it because we prefer to be cloaked. Spacesuit is... Oh, what happens to... I thought I had apparel. Didn't I have a better hat than that? Like a cowboy hat or something? I guess I must have dropped it somewhere. Oh, shoot. Well, so I can either Enclave Officer hat or Chinese Commando hat. Let's, yeah, let's go with the Commando hat. Oh. Oh, well. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, commando hat, stealth armor, in perfect condition. Shady hat. Oh, it's the shady hat! That's... but we're already... Okay, the game sometimes glitches on the two wear more than one hat at once. It's goofy, but whatever. Okay, so laser pistol is not useful to us. Laser rifle will keep to repair the metal blaster when it gets busted. We don't have a lot of frag grenades. get maybe a good 30 of them. Maybe like 15 frag mines. Yeah, we're, we're going to be using explosives a lot more in the game from now on. Just for fun. Actually, now that we have all those nuka colas, we can convert them to quantums. 14 quantums. And then, in the future, when we want to make explosives out of, uh, out of them, we'll be ready. So, we're done with that DLC, and we're done with this episode of the Let's Play. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, let's double save just to be safe.